First, you have to work hard to build your inspiration. Then it becomes a naturality. The biggest disease in the human body is laziness. Alasyam hi manushyanam sharirastho mahan ripuhu. We know what to do, but we don't do it. Why? Laziness. This carelessness, this negligence, if it was not there, we would make rapid progress. So laziness is a reality of our life. We recognize it and then we try and eradicate it. So remember, the body and mind are such, they will become however you mold them to be. If you allow them the freedom, they will become your masters of your soul and they will be the worst masters because the body will say, I want to sleep and the mind will say, I want entertainment. And you will say, what can I do? My body and mind are saying like this. You have to subdue them and make them your servants. They will become the best servants. So, repeatedly, with willpower, reject the lazy option and choose the more energetic one in everything you do. Why don't we do something with excellence? Laziness. Chalta hai. This chalta hai mentality is what? Laziness. On the other hand, there are those who are committed to excellence in every little act of theirs. Why? They have shedded it out. I will put in the best of my mental, physical, intellectual abilities and hold myself to the highest standard. So first you have to push yourself. And slowly, slowly, it becomes a way of thinking and a way of working. Some days you are very inspired, some days you are less, some days you are uninspired. Let us understand why this happens. The mind is made of the material energy Maya. And Maya has three gunas, Sattva, Rajas, Tamas, goodness, passion, ignorance. When the mind is sattvic, you think the human form is so precious, I have a golden chance, I must reach the goal. You are inspired. Later on, when the mind is rajasic in the mode of passion, you think, yeah, I should do bhakti, but the worldly things are also important and they must be achieved before God. And when the mind becomes tamasic in the mode of ignorance, you start thinking, well, you know, my friends don't believe in God. Why is it that I have to believe in Him? Nobody has ever seen Him. Your enthusiasm gets shattered. The same person experiences different levels of enthusiasm on different hours and different days. This, if you experience it, Know it to be natural. As long as you are under Maya, it will happen. But you don't need to let it be like this. Sadhana means to fight it and to go beyond it. So how do you build up your enthusiasm? Bring the right knowledge to your intellect. Daily sadhana is so important. It is food for my soul. I don't neglect food for the body. But the body is made of mud. I am the soul. Sadhana is more important than eating. And remember the importance of the golden chance you have. So bring this knowledge to your intellect. And then force the mind up to the level of inspiration. You will have to work on correcting the intellect and aligning the mind. When you do it again and again and again, it will become natural to them. First, you have to work hard to build your inspiration.
then it becomes a naturality. And third, it becomes so natural you cannot act in any other way. That behavior has become a part of you by repeated practice. Thank you. There is an external world made from earth, water, fire, air and sky. And there is an inner world within us, our thoughts, values, beliefs, ideas, attitudes. As we progress in this mind management challenge, we are embarking on a journey within ourselves. We are discovering tools and techniques to adorn, to ornament ourselves from within.